Hey guys, welcome back to Atomic Underground. This is Season 1, Episode 9. It's opening the Escape Shaft Version 2. So, we're going back here. This is still in December. Um, this was Colby and I were down on Level 3 of the Launch Control Center trying to open up the Escape Shaft door. And we've been working on it for about an hour and a half. Um... The threads, especially on the top there that you can see, had a bunch of um, rust and stuff on them. And we didn't have the proper tools to clean it out. We also didn't have uh, what turned out to be a two-inch socket. Um, so while we were working, after a little bit, this happened. I mean, you two didn't say anything about this stuff going to the ceiling, so... Right. You know, I don't, I don't think it's... Even if it was, I don't, I don't think it's going to be that bad. What the fuck was that? I have no idea. I'm guessing that would be a methane explosion. I love one. So, best guess what that loud pop was, was some sort of a gas explosion up in the top of the dome there on level one of the launch control center. We went up, we stuck a gas meter up there, we found nothing. But we can't figure out anything else that it could have been. And it caused us to be a little bit paranoid for a while. So we actually left and called it a day at that point. And now on January 20th, uh, we came back out, ran ventilation through the whole building, and got uh, everything nice and fresh again, and uh, continued. This is where we picked up uh, on January 20th, 2020. We started by cleaning the threads with a wire wheel, and then we attached the 2-inch socket to the ratchet. Started cranking. That worked great for a few minutes, and then it started getting, at least on the top, it got tighter and tighter to where you just couldn't move the ratchet anymore. So what you're actually seeing right here is Colby tightening the threads. Uh, we tried to wire wheel and lubricate and go back and forth with it multiple times. So if something jams, use more force. Got the uh, impact out. It was uh, very slow, but it got us another half inch to an inch down the threads. Uh, still not enough to get it open. We've had multiple people suggest using a torch to heat it up because of the enclosed environment and uh, not super great ventilation down there. Using a torch just isn't an option at this time. And uh, we absolutely did not want to cut any part of this because this is a piece of history of the silo and I'm not planning on losing it. We're now about 25 minutes into trying to open this thing. Colby went up to our scrap pile up in the decontamination room and uh, got a little bit more force. The entire time, uh, you can't necessarily see it in the video here, um, but we stopped and we put uh, penetrant and lithium grease and WD-40 and everything we had on these threads. Uh, we got them as clean as we can and just unfortunately a lot of stuff got up in there over the years and even with a cheater bar um, this was Is 
So it's just. Nick, why are you trying to What? I don't go that well, it's weird. So he's just trying to get from the dog. At this point, we're about an hour into it. Kobe decided to go get okay, so a larger really hard. cheater bar. Yeah, like this thing is. This thing is about 10 feet long, but he's bringing it into the uh, oh. screen right now. Where's up here? All right. Holy Jesus, dude. I think this might be a little bit too much pipe. Too much? I don't know. So I was a little bit worried while we were doing this, uh, actually damaging the threads given the amount of force we were putting on it. Um, the bottom remained really easy to do through the whole time, but uh, we ended up opening and closing it a few times and kept greasing the threads as we went, and uh, we were able to do it. Uh, Every one of us is pretty sore after uh, running this thing for oh, dude, probably cranking on it with cheater bars even for about an hour, opening and closing it, just trying to get enough uh, lubrication in there to get this thing open. If it looks like I'm not doing too much here, it's because I'm not. Basically, uh, I was keeping the uh, socket on the end of the uh, threads, but I had uh, very little leverage. Unfortunately, uh, Gary there on the end is a little bit taller than Kobe and I, and uh, he was able to get quite a bit. Well, here is the final result, the inside of the oh, skate yeah. shaft. It's empty. He did something. Oh, he gave himself a little vent pipe. He got a little gravel. I didn't even know you were doing that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, it just went. I was like, okay. All right. That's where that PVC hey, comes in. Oh, the PV. What the hell? That's that's after. That's somebody's. No, it wasn't. We never opened this. This has never been opened. The guy never opened it? Nope, that's Air Force. That may have been, you know what? They may, what they might have done is had a pump in there to keep the water out. Yeah. Because that right there should have been your ventilation, right? No, ventilation's on level two. Or not the ventilation, but that pipe that goes sure. up the side. Heads up. Oh, sorry. Well, there you go. You want to go crawl in there and poke it? <laughs> well, let me ride clean this off. Yeah. Well, it ain't concrete. That's good. Uh. I didn't think it would be, but there was that. Sorry about messing up the dude. You're going in there, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be careful. I don't trust that. PVC pipe that jam you in the back if you get it. It looks like a TV. Oh man. You want the bad news, Nick? What? You want the bad news? The concrete? Yep. Is it? Yeah. 
Well, what's the good news? There ain't none. Well, we know it. Yeah, it's mortar. Got a hammer. So that's why it's still leaking on level two. Yep. Watch your head. Don't come up. Camera. Camera. Ass. Ass. <laughs> Alright, let me get down there. What time is it? I don't know. About that time. My watch isn't set to... It died on 1654. Yeah, about time to wrap it up. Let me get down and check it out. Damn. You ever seen a nick in a hole? That's not, that's not concrete, dude. You sure about that? Yeah, it's a rock. It it's might be a hit. No, it might be a piece of concrete up there. Pull on some of that aggregate. Yeah, this is all, dude, it's mud. I can pick it up. Yeah, drag some back from the top, though, where I was just give poking. Short, give me the breaker pipe. Where the hill is? I'm going to pull my feet if this thing moves. <laughs> I don't care if you drag me on my face. Ow. Ow is correct. Yeah, I got a pokey. Nah, we're good. Good? Yeah. Just a piece of concrete? It's just a piece. I, I can't even tell what it is. It might be a big ass shale or rock or something. But it doesn't go to both sides. We're good. Here. No, oh, I'll just back up. <sighs> yeah, they made this thing super comfortable if you ever need to go out of it. Yeah, I'm sure, especially with that big old hump right there. What? I want to thank Colby and Gary for coming out this month. And uh, thank you to everybody that's watching this on YouTube and uh, our Patreon supporters. We will see you in the next video.